man, Ramadan kind of slimming me up a bit, but I don't really, I ain't trying to get slim. So, you know, when you're on Ramadan, what happens is, you know, usually I eat in the morning because I go work out. You know, I want to get them gains. So, you know, if you want to make gains, you got to eat your body weight. It's like uh, twice your body weight. You know what I'm saying? Like calories or something like that. Uh, protein or whatever. I can't think of it now. But I know Ramadan ain't no way in hell I'm getting that much protein. Right? But it will get you cut up. Right, so doing that run in, right, uh, it's gonna get you cut up for sure. But right now, you know, when I do go eat, by the time you eat later on, your stomach shrinks so fasting from that first meal and doing intermittent fasting and only eat one time a day is best described for a long life. The better you can, the more you work out and the more arduous work you do, makes it easier for you to be able to break down the food contents that you intake but working out is mostly all about your body uh, or all about your diet and about what you eat uh, so a lot of people be having goals and they be in the gym and they be working out and working out but they don't be eating right according to what their goal is right and so working out is just not about changing you know your, your, your gym habits it's about changing your eating habits as well Right, and I think that that's a, um, uh, I think that's a key, right? So, you know, um, like I said, don't have, you gotta make sure like even with Ramadan, because I'm traveling, it's a little harder because, you know, normally if I'm at home, you know, I can wake up five in the morning, six in the morning and eat right drink a bunch of water before the day starts so i don't feel um, hungry later on and make it insufferable for myself but i'm also a mouth breather when i sleep sometimes not all the time but sometimes it's like that so what happens is i wake up and because as you breathe in right creating that that, that air is go it can make your voice a horse and it can make your throat dry because of the heat that you create by breathing in your mouth so you can take them off to sleep if you want to try to fix that. But for me, um, I still have that problem when I'm traveling. So I always have to wake up and I always have to drink water no matter what's going on, right? So I always have to drink water, right? Uh, my voice is an instrument, you know? So when you got your voice as an instrument, you can't afford for it to go out. You gotta make sure you're doing a healthy thing. So like. A lot of people don't think about that. Like most time, most people that really protect they, they instrument or they voice are singers, right? The average person don't really think about voice and command, communication, and and, and, and voice health. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, once you start working on to the highest level, you have to make sure that you know um, you take care of every part of your body. You know what I'm saying? And everything is tapped in. You dig so can't be out here 20 years old sound like you 80 you ain't taking care of yourself we'll go ahead